All right, now we're going to get into a one-on-one -on -one closeout drill. Uh, the drills we did earlier are kind of one-on-one -on -one closeouts, and so now we're going to work on getting them to defend somebody on a closeout where they got to close out hard, and then they got to cut them off and prevent them from scoring. So here's what we do in this drill. Uh, we'll have them, and also, too, I, I set this up to make it to where it's also kind of like all offensive principles in a drill. I see drills done to where coaches will do it, and they'll have kids that will, like, throw bad passes, or they won't step to meet the basketball, or little things they don't do. And I think any type of defense drill you do when you're doing all offensive aspects in it, make sure kids are doing what they're supposed to do on the offensive end to develop good habits. So we're doing, we got Nick and we got Joe. So what Nick's going to do, as we talked about before, is we want to communicate. So he's going to call out Joe's name. Joe's going to say Nick. He's going to throw him the ball. When he throws him the ball, Joe's going to step to meet the basketball and be in triple threat. Okay? Go ahead and do that. You ready? Yeah. We're going to stop. So now what the first part of our progression is this. Nick's going to close out, good close out, and he's going to touch. The first time, he's going to touch. Once he touches, it's live. So the same principles we had. You got to make sure he does not get into our house. So we're forcing him what? Angles out wide, okay? Either baseline down or out wide here, nothing direct line drive, go on the rim. You got to stay down, right? You got to sit there and contest, block out one and done. He picks it up, dead, dead, dead. You got it, okay? All right, here we go. Stay on the block, get on the block, get on the block, right there, right here we go. Good, stay down, stay down, shot, block out, good. Good. Pretty good job. Did he get a little bit inside where we wanted? Yeah, but that's a pretty good job first time of doing it, okay? So then what we'll do is we'll switch up and we'll go to the opposite side. So as they're doing it and they go and they start to score, this next side should be ready to go. Get in the stance, you're ready. Step, meet the basketball. Stop, stop. Do it again. He's going to touch first. The first time he's going to touch. Once he touches, you know it's live. So we have him touch at the beginning of the first time to get him used to closing out to get him ready for it, okay? You ready to go? Let's go. Sit down, sit down. Good, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. Don't only give him a little. Good, good, good. Good, Charlie, good. So that's a great job right there. So what we'll do is go ahead and have the same people on real quick, okay? Just show us and I'll have you guys rotate. Same people on. So what we'll do now is say after they go through one time and they go through a second time, now we say they're playing live. When they throw it to them from the beginning, you're not touching. You close out, you get it, you're attacking. So now you got to close out with this guy attacking you, the same principles that we just did, okay? You ready? Here we go. Let's go. Sit down, sit down, Joe. Good. Shot, block out. Good. Right there. Good. Sustain his block and get it. And then right when it's done, come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Cut him off. Cut him off. Come on, Charlie. Don't let him go middle. Don't let him go middle. Stop. So I'd be like, Charlie, don't let him go middle. Your top foot was down. Get it up. Force him out. You're better than that. Right? So then what you'll do is when they rotate, the rotation will be as you see. Nick's going out. He switches the offense, new defender comes in, and you're moving, and you're moving. Now, of course, we're doing this on a half-court setting, and we got 11 players as we're doing this. So if I'm a coach and I have baskets, right, I got four or five baskets, I'm having them two on two, and I'm lining them up. And then I'm doing this. I'm telling you, keep track of your scores. If you score, you get a point, right, every time you score. Then at the end, I'm sitting there going, how many points you had? Oh, I had six. Oh, I had two. You lost. You got push-ups. Make it competitive. Competitive situation, they understand there's accountability. So you can rotate them however you want. You might have three people in a basket where you have three right, on each side. You could have it set up to where you only have two baskets, and all of a sudden you got these two blocks and those two blocks, and you're breaking them up the best you can to maximize the time uh, that you have and also your facility space to make sure those kids are getting reps.